Hi, YouTube friends. It's Greg Rolls on. It's been a, been a little bit. I think a couple things happened. First off, thank you for your prayers for uh, my father-in-law, Sidney Stanley, and also my grandmother, Margaret Milam. Um, on my mom's birthday, January 27th, she had a fall at home. It was her 90th birthday. She went to, I don't remember what the name of the place was, but it was a physical therapy place after they had emergency surgery to repair her hip. She contracted COVID. I'm unaware of which variant. Um, and she passed away somewhere in the early morning hours of February the 15th. I was home. I was not able to see her before she passed. Um, and then my father-in-law, Sidney Stanley, he's been in the hospital for three weeks up to that day. Um, he started showing signs about three or four days before he passed away that things were getting better. They call it the calm before the storm. So he ended up taking a turn for the worst. They had to reintubate him for like the third time. Um, he could not be off of it. His uh, blood platelets and things, he started having all kinds, basically a myriad of problems. And he had to do a center line in the neck and get my wife's permission as she was his uh, medical power of attorney. So anyway, she made the, probably the worst decision anybody would ever have to make. Uh, unless it involves maybe your children or something, but uh, we had to say goodbye to her dad, and um, he wasn't off of life support very long at all, maybe 10, 15 minutes before he passed away. He just couldn't breathe. So that was a hard time. It's been stressful on the whole family. It's made everybody at each other's throats, everybody's sad and trying to console each other, anything you can imagine, good, bad, ugly, everything. So I stayed home for a while, and reality sets in that uh, although you don't want to and you can't get motivated, like I, I've just had troubles getting motivated and staying motivated. Um, I had no idea Dad was going to pass. I had the faith he's going to get out of the hospital. And in a roundabout way, God did answer our prayers. He's not in there suffering anymore, you know. So now he's taking that good sleep, waiting on, uh, waiting on Jesus to come back. So I know where he'll be. I can only hope that I'll be there, too. Got a lot of work to do. Um, but being a Christian every day is a struggle, right? So I was going to talk about a couple of things that might be worthwhile to you guys. And I'm digging in my wallet right now, so bear with me. Hope you all liked that Lugabaloo commercial. <laughs> I just think it's funny and I'm a bit of an idiot. So I just keep proving that point. So slowly divorcing myself from the safety net of Schneider, which I like Schneider. Schneider helped me start my business. I have no regrets. I'd do it again. And I still haven't left. I'm not in a hurry. I'm going to do it when the time is right for me, especially given all the things that have been happening with the family. But uh, I'm going to keep this one short and talk about some ways that I've been saving four to $500 a week, sometimes more, is shopping for fuel and having options for shopping for fuel. Here's the first card. It's a TCS card. I'll try to make sure that it's facing the right way. Um, this card right here is a preloaded card. This is not a line of credit. You will have to use Zelle if you want the money on your card within an hour, or you will have to use an ACH from your bank account. This is a card that you charge and you use for fuel. The discounts are great though. Sometimes I've seen up to 60 cents, depending on where. A lot of their bigger, di as far as big um, discounts, they're more of a TA Petro uh, from that place but a lot of mom and pops too. The second one I haven't used very much, and this is uh, my buddy CEO talked to me about. I haven't used this card yet, it seems okay, but the other options I have so far have been better. Um, you do get advanced pricing on this card if you have a TCS card and you send them proof that you have a TCS card. I have no idea, but it brought my pilot Flying J fuel down. I can get 40 to 50 cents off a gallon from what I'm seeing. Um, but the other, the last card I'm going to show you has been the best as far as a line of credit and mud flap. Mud flap and this last card I'm going to show you the best, but this is the one that Big Rig CEO was telling me about, RTS. Um, it's a Fleet One card, works at Pilots Flying Jays. It works just about any day going where, but your discounts uh, are going to be Pilots Flying Jays and a whole litany of mom and pops. Um, this is the best card that I have used as far as a line of credit so far. Of course, I still have Schneider's Fuel card. Um, Starting tomorrow, our fuel discount will be back up to 41 cents, except for the Western 4, it'll be 51 cents per gallon at Pilots and Flying J's. Everywhere else, it's only 5 cents off a gallon. 
of the pump price. So the best card so far that I have found uh, as far as a line of credit is FTS, it's Fleet Tech Services Fuel Purchase Card. Um, I've seen discounts as high as a dollar and 10 cents a gallon. Now that's rare and you have to hunt. I get a price feed every day for FTS's discount in an email and I can click and I can see where fuel is trending lower so I can run that area. Usually it's been Louisiana, Missouri, um, obviously North Dakota and stuff like that, but we're not going over there because there's no freight. Um, but that one seems to be, typically speaking, I can get 50 to 60 cents off a gallon. There are also TA Petros and a whole bunch of mom and pops, a lot of speedways. I use a lot of speedways, quick trips in Wisconsin. Um, that, that and Mudflap have been the best. I've fueled a lot off Mudflap this past week, but since I left the house on Tuesday, uh, the 20 whatever, 22nd, 23rd, um, I've saved over $500 in fuel. Um, this week I ran 3,745 miles roughly. Uh, I burned through about 550 gallons of fuel. That might be overstating or understating, I don't remember, but I don't want to turn the truck on to find out. I didn't do very good at the fuel mileage this week. It was only six and a half miles a gallon. But before my costs, I grossed $8,100. So if you account for the fuel that came out, um, that's a $6,000 week. Uh, if not just fuel, we got all the fuel that came out of my bank accounts. So I didn't use Schneider fuel card at all. So my deposit is going to be 7,900 after my insurance and, uh, and all of that comes out. So that was a, uh, 71, excuse me, $7,900 deposit week, unless I get some fees, uh, for picking up empties that I don't remember. You got to remember I'm rusty. I've been out for a couple weeks with dad and mom all passing. So, um, things have been a little off. I did a live last night to just chat with people. I didn't get a whole lot of traffic, and I didn't expect to. I hadn't been on in a while, and it's not like I'm Mr. Popular either. I try to, when Dad passed, it kind of put a lot of stuff in perspective. Now, this is just my father-in-law, but he means a lot to me. And uh, I can still hear his voice in my head like he was still here talking to me yesterday. I'm the one that helped him get out of the car when we dropped him off the hospital, and he put his hand on my shoulder and told me, thank you for taking care of my girl and my grandkids. I didn't realize at the time it was his way of saying goodbye. Love them while they're here, people. Because then they're gone, you know? Anyway, so I'm back out here on the road. I'll be going home um, probably early next week, probably my two, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then I'm going to stay home for another four or five days. And my wife and kids and I, where they're going to be off on spring break, we're going to go to Kosai, maybe, I don't know, maybe Gatlinburg. Depends how much money we got in the bank. I'm also going to have to put my wife in a new car apparently because we're having some trans trouble out of this uh acadia i got i've always been a gm guy but for whatever reason we've had horrible luck with the last couple that we've had now this one hasn't broke down yet but i'm pretty sure it's a 35r wave plate that's gonna that's gonna bad this trans and if i don't know if y'all know what that means but basically it's it's a component between the clutches of the transmission and it burns up and it cracks and whenever it comes apart you won't shift you'll be stuck in between gears or you'll be stuck in low range and uh, you'll melt everything down slowly but surely. So obviously not good. Um, the car is a 2016 model, same year as this rig here. And um, it's over 113,000 miles. It's gonna cost $4,500 to in labor and transmission minimum to, you gotta drop the front end and everything and, and uh, get to it. Cause it's all wheel drive. But uh, the way things are in there, apparently you gotta drop a whole bunch of stuff out of it. At least that's what I've been told, so. And I don't got the time to do this stuff. So anyway, I am back out on the road. If you need to get a hold of me, it's gregrollson, gmail.com. Um, if you're interested in going to Schneider or SFI, you can call Nathan Green in Green Bay uh, and talk to him at Schneider Finance. You can also call the Schneider Recruiting Hotline and uh, come on over and lease you a truck and start making some money, man. There's no way after your cost you're not going to make $110,000 a year. You're trying not to make money if you make that little right now based on the rates. I remember when I started, if I made $1.45 a mile, averaged mile before costs, I was jumping up and down, you know, hill clicking shit bomb diggity. That's awesome sauce, right? No. I mean, right now, I don't turn the key for anything under two fifty a mile. There's no reason not to. There's been a few loads, like I've averaged less than that with a deadhead, but on my loaded scale... Um, I think I averaged 221 a mile. That's not my best average for a week, but freight is up and down, especially with uh, 
uh, Russia, Ukraine situation. Um, uh, I think uh, Ukraine so far has been eating Russia's lunch. I know that people have paid the price. Uh, I don't think that they anticipated this. Um, you just don't invade a place. Now, I don't know if anybody's got heritage in Russia or whatever, but the Russian people, at least from what I'm seeing, they don't seem to want that, what's going on either. So I don't know if it's like a... I don't know what's going on. I ain't going to get into the politics or the war of it. The only point I'm getting at is, is there's a humanitarian issue, and it's very unfortunate. So pray for those people over there, and pray for their continued strength because their president is, is awesome. I wish our president was like that. If we were in that situation, we don't know if he would be or not, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, listen. You still got to, we still got to drive, we still got a truck, we still got to pick up, we still got to deliver, we still got to drink all kinds of fuel, and I'm getting ready to go inside of this TA and wash my ass, because I ran hard this week, and uh, I just want you guys to know, there goes the APU, making sure everything's charged up. I fried up all the bacon, I fried up all the eggs, I fried up all the hamburger meats, so nothing's going bad, we're on keto 100% again, and boy, oh boy, I'm having sugar withdrawal. So... Hit at me again, gregrollsongmail.com. Contact Schneider SFI. Get you in a truck. Get you out here. Tell them Greg Milam sent you. Um, and, yeah, that'll get me a bonus. I don't know how much it is or whatever now, but if you tell them I sent you if I help you out, and I'll continue to help you out. I'll also send you the spreadsheet if you email me. Uh, if you still haven't got it, I've sent it to countless people so far. So if you need that, just reach out, and I'll give it to you. Um, I've still never done something about the receipts how I log those. It's just such a tedious process, but one day we'll, we'll tackle that. Um, I just submit all that stuff to my accountant and he does all that. I don't have trucking office or any particular software that I run. I just, I have my own little system on the computer and so far it's not done me wrong. So if you have any questions or whatever, put them on this video in the comments. Like, subscribe, blah, 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 bell. I don't even know what, the bell. Apparently there's a bell you can click. Maybe it just makes a cute little sign, but click that if it's something. If it's something you can click besides a thumbs down or an F you, click that. Um, in the meantime, if y'all got free downtime, download the version Bible app, listen to some of that stuff on there when you're going down the road. If you can listen to your Ben Shapiro and Mark Levin like I do, you can also take an hour out of your day when you're driving and listen to some U version uh, and hear God's word. It'll kind of give you some... Uh, some perspective and help you through your hard times. Um, I know I still have a little bit of swearing going on, but that's going to be my my last level of sin that I'm going to fight with till I die because those words are just so juicy. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we love you guys. Keep her upright in between the lines. Until next time, God bless you.